welcome everyone, welcome boot campers to level 3, athletic work. And I might say this is going to be the hardest workout we've been doing so far in this boot camp series. So this is your personal nemesis, this is your personal test for athletic fitness. And this might be one of the hardest workouts in the whole series alongside the XXL challenge. So start with the simple boxer bounds, left to right, as always we're going to warm up properly before we go for our athletic work in the main portion. We're going to warm up here, 45 seconds, boxer bounces or running on the spot, whatever you like doing, you're pretty intermediate to advanced by now, so you know your body, you know what warms you up best. Having a lunch so we're starting with three pulse lunges if you're feeling for pulsing do the pulses if you're feeling like jumping then do the travel sideways jumping just to get you pumped up and your legs we do need a lot of legs as you know the athletic work is all about the agility functional workout for the legs but also the whole body we're doing drills in space we're working on forward sideways movements that allow you to change direction quickly and to be comfortable in changing directly quickly so you need a lot of core um, very very much core stability so um, strength in your center so three pulse lunges backwards three more seconds and here we go with some front jacks I call them so you basically jump lunging it's a little bit of a milder jump lunge because we're doing it quite quickly and now mobilize your arms so arms go up and down just in front of you use the whole range of motion of your shoulder girdle so bring the arms backwards as much as you can without dislocating your shoulder and be really quick with your feet stay on your toe mounts uh, so avoid if you can to put the heels down just be light and quick on your feet make sure to bend the knees when you land not to lock into your joints that's really nice so this should uh, get your heart rate up and get your breathing rhythm up and maybe also get you a little bit sweaty well done okay here we go push up so warming up our chest our triceps and also our course please start on your feet so this is 45 seconds of push-ups start on your feet and only if you need to drop down onto your knees i know this is hard 45 seconds of push-ups is not something we like to do but use what you have start on your feet Brace your center core, get down on your knees when you need to, and use full range of motion. So mobilize your shoulder girdle, mobilize your elbows, get your wrists in the game, and now open those elbows as far and wide as possible. And there you go, you got five more seconds. Game on for your last push up. You did it, well done. Okay, before we stretch, let's just get us warmed up effectively with the cross jacks so feet in jump and jack you open and close and you cross the feet front and back please make sure to turn your knees out at any time so your knees don't fall in the outside of the knees is more stable much more stable than the inside so whatever you do always lean onto the outer side of your knees outer heel outside of your knees and outer hip so much more stable and yes arms cross up and under over and under up and down flex your hands if you want to just to get your lower arms stretched out and there we go having a nice little stretch so this is our stretch routine that you probably know by heart by now so we're starting in a wide straddle position starting with the left leg forward come into lunge position and do keep this mobile so don't just rest in your lunge but move forward and backwards swing a little bit so you stay warm 
um, if you're working out outside and you might get a little bit coldish, um, always make sure you have a jumper or whatever with you. Then lunge rotation, open your left arm up to the sky or ceiling, right hand stays on the ground, nice rotation here in the spine, and then fold it forward onto your left knee, come to forward fold, nose to the knee, right hamstring stretch. And then we get it ready. We're doing some more push-ups here. This time only 10. So do this, whatever variation you want. You can also just hold it in plank position. If I killed you there before with the push-ups, feel free to just hold it in plank. Of course, uh, you can modify. And big tip for this one, please use the pause button. I would love you to finish this workout and I know that 10 seconds of rest is not enough for most of you. So know your pause button and know your play button. Come back to center and bend your left knee, stretch out the right knee. Here with a half straddle. It's flexing the left knee a little bit more. Come down into squat, lifting your right toes all the way up and then change sides. Same thing on the other side, first up, foot down, and then sit down all the way. So we're having, as always, 10 seconds of rest and 45 seconds of workout, and this goes on and on and on with some of the hardest athletic work exercises that we're doing in this series. So you can pause, you can have a sip of water, whatever you need it, you can breathe it through, if you pause, please walk and not sit or lie down, but keep your chest up, keep your chin up, and always walk around. Do not just stay stable. And then change over to the right side into lunge position. Keep it up, stay dynamic. And then keep your left hand on the ground. Right arm opens up in lunge rotation. You might wanna bring your nose all the way to the sky or ceiling. And then stretch it over the right leg, hamstring stretch for the right leg. And we're getting ready for our stretch finale with mountain climbers. So step back into your plank position, then bring the knee forward 20 times. And this will hopefully get you ready, warmed up and stretched perfectly for attacking our static work level 3 workout. I'm here all the way with you, so don't get scared. Get your bottle of water, get your towel, and here we go. First one up, burpee push-up. So start it simple and small. Simply jumping up, then getting the hands on the ground, jumping backwards, and then do whatever push-up you can, either on your feet or on your knees. You'll see this is fun. So this slows the burpee down a little bit. You'll do a little less jumps, which is the good news. The bad news is we're doing a push-up every time we're in plank position. So jump it forward, jump up, jump down, jump back. Push up, jump forward, jump up, jump back. That could be a song. <laughs> Someone has to do the burpee song. Maybe that exists. Keep it going. You have 10 more seconds to go. Try to do at least two more and jump high, jump back, push up, jump high, jump back. Yes, you did it. Wonderful. First one up, you know the drill. You can hit the pause button, have a sip of water, dry your sweat, walk around if you need to, and then we continue with the lunge, squat, jumps. So we're starting in squat position and then lunge, switch, come back to squat. Lunge, switches, come back to squat. Always start with the other leg, so you're doing an alternating left and right. Now use your arms in the game. That's contralateral arms and parallel arms in the squat. So contralateral arms in the lunge, parallel arms in the squat. I know that's not super easy to coordinate, but try it. And this is an amazing exercise to really get your legs juiced up. This burns a ton of calories, one of the most, the biggest Muscle groups are glutes, butt muscles, and of course our thighs. And you did it. So 
encourage you to hit the pause button because you do need to rest a little bit before we do the flying lunges. And here you go. I personally do two bounds and then I jump up into my lunge because this coordinates really nicely with the arms. So the arms swing forward and backwards and then you do your jump. If you do need more jumps on the ground with the two feet then do so, do more pulses. But try to get at least, let's say, 10 of those lunges in. You can also start small, so you do not need to bring the knee up at hip height. Um, start as small as you need it, so these can be very low, but just for the fun of it, get a few of those high-flying lunges in there. It's just amazing if you dare what the body can do. Hit the pause button if you need to, I bet you do, because we do some more jumping. So we're jumping forward, running backwards. Start in squat position, swing the arms backwards, swing the arms forward, jump it, land in a low squat, and then run it back into start position. Always start in a low squat, jump forward, land in a low squat. This will protect your knees. So be very easy on the knees. Do not simply just stand there when you're landing. Always squat as low as you can. This is basically a deep low squat. Yes, go down and then run it back into your start position as quickly as you can. Come on, get some fuel in. That's 10 more seconds. You can do this. I'm swing forward and then run it back. Five more seconds. Hey, hey, you did this. Fantastic. So proud of you. So, you're still here, I'm still here, and we're having a plank jump. We're alternating left and right. We're not stepping back into plank position, but we're simply switching from lunge to lunge. And this looks far more difficult than it actually is. And what you can do here, so to help you, is to simply be a little bit slower and bounce a few times on one side before you switch to the other. I'm just helping you here to modify, if you need to, these really intense and high impact exercises. So either switch, 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 and you just one bounce and right, get right back up, or you're doing a few bounces there and then you switch. You can do this, you can really do this. So get at least 12, 14 of those lunges in and you got this all right your choice pause or continue shuffle uh, side shuffle starting in squat position inner hand on the ground outer hand behind the ear and then squat low inner hand touches the ground then you side shuffle as quickly as possible getting up from squat side shuffling and jumping back down into squat position so this is what i meant with changing directions quickly so we're going from down to up and we're also going from left to right as quickly as we can. We do need a strong core for this, a strong center. Brace your core and you also need your arms. So the arms always help. Never forget the arms, they're quite powerful when they swing to get you momentum and also to lift the whole body up. Perfect. All right. Pause for a second here, get a sip of water, walk around because we're going for the burpee tucks. So, variation of the burpee, this time no push-ups but we're gonna tuck it. And the knees come up as high as you can do it. If you simply lift your feet a few centimeters, that's also fine with me. What's necessary, what's essential is that you try. So jump up, jump down, jump back, jump up and tuck it. Hands come onto your thighs, clap it, and then jump it down and back as quickly as you can. Burpee tuck, burpee tuck, go for it. 10 more seconds, get at least two more in. I know you're fighting, keep fighting. And there you go. All right, we come back on the ground. Plank jack pose, this is a great exercise for your core and also for your upper back. So, jumping jacks for your feet, so open and close dynamically, pulse it, and then lift the hand all the way to the shoulder. This is sizzling your shoulder girdle, deltoids, 
also your upper back, you are mobilizing your shoulder blades, so pull those elbows backwards as quickly as you can. If this jumping is way too much for you and you're really at your edge, simply stay in plank position, do not move the legs, only move the arms. I'm fine with that because this is mainly a core exercise. I need you to get a strong core. I don't care so much about the jumping if you can do it. I care more about the lifting of the arms to engage your core. And that's what we do. Perfect, get back up. Three pulse lunges. This time we're pulsing, we're really jumping. And you can, you can continue this. Please don't hit pause, we're at level three. So go for it. This is supposed to be difficult. This is supposed to burn a little, a little bit everywhere. So step backwards and then pulse jump to the side, stepping forward. Step backwards with the other side, pulse, travel sideways. And if you feel like doing more than three, go for it, totally fine. Just make sure you're doing the same amount of pulses into each direction. And again, although this is a little bit difficult here, get those arms in. They can swing a little, help you with lifting yourself up from the ground. I got good news for you. We're having three more exercises. They're all on the ground and then we stretch. So well done, all of you. You do not need to pause anymore. We're just pulling this through. Come into your down dog position. Working on our glutes here and our core strength. So start in down dog, lift the right leg, then pull the kneecap in between your arms, and lift it right back up into down dog split without ever touching the ground with the right leg. So we're doing right leg first, and then we're switching over to the left side. Halfway through. This is also a shoulder and upper back exercise, so make sure you're really pushing your chest downwards to engage the upper back and also work on mo mobility of your shoulder girdle. So as you see, we're slowing it down a little bit, working more on your core and your glutes. Wonderful. Come to the other side. You've got 10 seconds to either shake out your wrists or get yourself in position into downward facing dog. And then lift the left side up. Bring the left kneecap in between your arms and push it right back up. As you can see, this is a great workout for your deltoids as well. Deltoids, your scapula, what's this called? Shoulder blade. <laughs> Shoulder blade in English. And also for your glute. So you will feel your left glute burning probably by now, but you've got 15 more seconds to pull it through. Also working on our core strengths, our center, pulling the navel in, mobility, wonderful. Love this exercise. And you did it. So last one, hip dips from elbow plank. So come into your elbow plank, simply lowering both of your elbows down. Forehands are parallel, palms flat on the ground. Lift the hips, shoulder height, and then dip it left and right into your hip dips, I call them. Elbow plank hip dips. Please turn your whole spine, so you also want to turn your nose in the same direction as you're turning your belly bottom. Halfway through, wonderful. Turn your whole foot, so both of your feet are turning, both heels are turning towards the side. Great one, working on the obliques as well as our straight rectus abdominis. And you got two more seconds and then we stretch. Hey, you did it. Who'd have thought? Level three, you managed. You're wonderful. You're amazing. So let's stretch it out. And that was it for today. So grab your right ankle, pushing your hips forward. Stay straight, stay proud and tall. You are fit. And you can do this. So come back to this workout anytime you want either a challenge or really good cardio workout that challenges your whole body, you want to burn calories, you want to add a little bit of an extra tease to your workout today maybe. Then change side, grab your left foot, push on your hips forward 
and repeating the same workout every now and then, not every day of course, but as part of a test or a benchmark to just see where you are. So there will be days where this workout is going to be super hard for you, you almost want to quit, it's not working for you and there will be other days where you're just going to be acing it. You'll just be rushing through it like there is nothing that can stop you. You're feeling energetic, light, quick and those are the days we really work it out for. And this is the kind of energy we want to feel in our body and that's why we're training. That's why we're working out, to feel this liveliness, feeling alive. All right, enough talking, come down into hamstring stretch. Heels down, sit bones up, folding forward, nose to the knee. And mobility plays a big role in this feeling alive. There's nothing more restricting uh, physically and also psychologically than feeling restricted in your body and in your movements. Um, so mobility, flexibility, elasticity is a great way to free yourself, not just physiologically, physically, but also psychologically mentally, emotionally. All right, enough. <laughs> Tricep stretch. Place your right hand in between your shoulder blades. You want to bring the right elbow up without constricting your head. So you still want to be pulling your chest up, your chin up, lifting the gaze up. And you can feel your body hopefully slowly slowing down. So your breathing rhythm starts to slow down. You hopefully feel really good right now. And this is very important to also feel that all the suffering, all the burning is just temporary. And afterwards we have these hormonal and emotional rushes of being really pumped and proud of ourselves really warm and energetic. Then change side, lift your left hand and place your left hand all the way in between your shoulder blades. And stretching afterward is just kind of the biggest reward when your body is really warm and elastic. You're feeling that you can go a lot further than you could before. Remember that in your tricep stretch here, you can do also a little bit of a side bend, stretching the whole side body, but you know these stretches by now. So also feel free to experiment. Uh, there's always a possibility to add some turns and twists and rotation into your stretch to just feel your muscles from a different angle. Bicep stretch, so we're pushing the right hand forward hand stays, palm stay, stays stretched out and you're creating a little bit of resistance with your left hand. Now with this stretch make sure that you're not pushing your upper body backwards to counterbalance uh, the hand. So brace your core a little bit and stay with your shoulders simply above your hips. Then change to the other side, pushing the left hand forward, left hand flat, and this time we've been doing a lot of push-ups and burpees and all these down dogs. So be gentle with your wrists and if they uh, need a little bit more love, you can also massage your wrist, like grabbing your wrist with the other hand and just pressing your wrist a little bit. This is great to release uh, some tension. Chest stretch, the light version is what you see here on the video. That's with the thumbs backwards and the palms facing up. Shoulders down, hands are shoulder height. And you're simply pulling your thumbs back as much as you can. You can use this for releasing the trapezius, bending the head sideways or turning the head. Um, but you can also interlace your fingers behind your hips and uh, keep the elbow slightly bent and then lift your hands just a little bit opening the shoulders, lifting the chest as much as you can, stay tall and proud and you can be really tall and proud of yourself for acing this workout and pulling it through all the way to the end.
wonderful having a side stretch here and this one goes left and right so we alternate then start with your favorite side pushing your leg and your hand into the same direction crossing the leg backwards it needs a little bit of balance but this does feel really good the side bending of the whole spine opening the rib cage releasing the abs a little bit releasing the core make sure to turn the head same side or bend the head same side releasing the neck here a little bit and just explore so all directions are fine that feel good basically whatever feels good is good last one yes figure four stretch for the butt piriformis crossing the right foot over the left knee sit back and down in case your thighs are burning and you do not feel like a figure four stretch standing you can also lie down on your back do the same exercise crossing the right foot over the left knee and you can do this lying down that's totally fine and uh, we're just doing this on the other side and then we're done for now for today and if you're still standing <laughs> if you're still standing uh, you might have some power left in your arms and they can go up in V with the thumbs facing backwards and then we slowly change side left ankle crosses over the right knee hips push back and down lift is chest is lifting chin up chest up and wherever you are standing or lying down take some few deep breath into the belly be really proud of yourself you're confident, you're strong, and you really ace this. Very powerful workout. Come back here anytime, and I'll see you all for the next one. Take care. Bye.